Hi, you have been learning about the artist Georgia O'Keeffe. So now it's time to go out like she did and study nature to see if there's any sorts of plants or any other interesting objects to sketch in our sketchbook. You can study plants that are planted in the ground. You can even look up and see the beautiful palm trees. There's not just beautiful plants on the ground, there's also trees and palm trees where we live. If you don't have anything around you that's planted in the ground, you can always look at potted plants. Check out the cool and interesting shapes of pots and clay pots that hold plants as well. So once you find a plant that you like to study, I suggest pulling up a chair and taking a seat nice and close so you can observe and study the shapes of the leaves. Now just like with all of our other art projects, remember to look for simple lines and shapes that you can find in the leaves and the grasses and the flowers around you. I started with a thicker marker and switched over to a thin marker to add some details. I noticed on the yellow and green plant that there was some tie-dyed looking parts of the leaf, so that's why I included a little thinner line on some of the leaves. Make sure to observe and study the veins of leaves and if there's any barbling or any different colored um, markings on the leaf. That's what makes your drawing interesting and cool to look at. By now you know that our artist lived in New Mexico and when she would walk around in the desert she would find sun bleached bones. So I'm going to take this opportunity to use the bones that I got from a friend who lived in Texas and she brought some back for me. And it just so happens that makes a great subject for our sketch. At the end of the presentation, I will have a still shot of these bones and this resin cow skull so you can study it and just hit the pause button if you wanted to sketch that for your assignment this week. Remember, we are using our observational skills, which means closely looking, so make sure to include all those tiny details, like the ones I just did of the cracks in the skull, and remember to use light, sketchy pencil lines so it's easy to erase. Once you have figured out what, what lines you want to erase, then you can go ahead and go on top of your sketchy pencil lines with a little darker pencil line.
Here's what my final sketch looked like. I simplified the flowers on the top of the cow skull, but uh, notice my light sketchy lines and coming up next is a image that you can hit pause on if you wanted to sketch that for your assignment this week. If you don't have a lot of greenery in your yard, I'm going to include some from my backyard that you could pause and sketch as well. It's up to you. I have some plants in pots or just close-ups of different plants that I really like. And I hope you find something that you like either in your backyard or something from this presentation. I look forward to seeing all of your Georgia O'Keeffe sketches. Keep up the good work!